In this video I continue down the Pacific Coast Highway where I find a spot to do some beach camping. And then I head to the RV park with the most beautiful view. That's Malibu. Welcome to Glamping Doodles. This is the show where we take you around this great country of ours traveling by RV. We give you a taste of what the cruising life is like and have some fun along the way. So buckle up and come along for the ride as we go cruising around the USA by land. In the previous video, I took you to Santa Cruz and then down to Monterey Bay to visit the world famous Monterey Bay Aquarium. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. The Pacific Coast Highway is certainly one of the most beautiful Seen roads in the USA, if not the world. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors. Gotta say, this is spectacular. I mean, this uh, coast like this, well, it's one of the better views I think I've ever seen, honestly. Wow. Absolutely beautiful drive. I mean, really. It's a little scary too, because I mean, these bridges are pretty narrow and they're 90 years old going over these canyons and there's a lot of space below you. So I think most of these bridges uh, and this highway was like built in the 30s, you know, part of the uh, New Deal thing, you know, from trying to recover from the, uh, from the Great Depression. Well, beautiful so far. I still have 100 miles to drive to Morro Bay. I don't know where I'm staying tonight. I really don't. I'm just gonna drive till I find something. See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. Well, for the most part, out of Big Sur now. Driving, I got about 30 more miles to Morro Bay. Unfortunately, all the national parks are closed because of the, national, the forest fires, so all their camping sites are they're not allowing them anymore and there's you know hundreds of them in the park so that means all the other rv parks around here are completely full and i'm having a hard time getting a spot so i don't know what i'm gonna do tonight but there's something cool to look at over here Dreams are not the same for me standing by the shore. so it's pretty cool elephant seals see none of these parking lots though they'll let you stay overnight so i don't know there's a lot of rvers right now that are needing a place to stay. I get it, they need all the people for the National Forest Service to go out there and work on the fires, but so that's why I think why they closed down all the national parks. But it's kind of annoying because now there's nowhere to go. Could not find any RV parks, so we're parking where there are no roads. Trying to figure out how well, this is a lot better than an RV park, I tell you what. Uh, and it's only $10 a night. So, man, you can't beat this. Right on the beach, man. That's what I've been looking for the whole time on this trip is I wanted to be parking my RV on the beach. This is great, man. This is not bad at all. Yep, doesn't get much better. So it's a little windy out there, so I'm not gonna do the outdoor grill. So warming up the skillet here to uh, put a steak on there, ribeye and some vegetables. Got a bottle of wine open, cracked a beer already. Not bad. Uh, this is uh, from one of my sponsors on my other channel. This is from uh, Butcher Box. All right, well, a successful day. I found a place to at least park for the few nights here. I'm gonna stay here a couple nights and then head down to Malibu or LA or somewhere, I don't know. But I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Thank you guys for tuning in. And, uh, and it's pretty nice out there. So I'm sure a lot of these guys have been coming here for a long time because they obviously know the deal. Most people have kind of have their RVs, like the door facing away from the ocean. And I think that's to block the wind because I mean, the ocean's 60 degrees and you get this cold 60 degree weather or wind blowing in on you like all night long. 
and uh, use the RV as a wind block. A lot of them put these little skirts around the bottom too to keep like sand and wind from blowing underneath. Kind of a good idea. I have mine per parked uh, perpendicular. I don't know. I mean, I just did it because, I don't know. I just did it because. But, uh, you know, I'm not staying out late and I don't need to stay too warm at night because I'm not, I don't have a bunch of people around doing a campfire or anything like that. But if I had like a bunch of people in a campfire and we wanted to hang out out at night, yeah, definitely use your RV as a wind block with a little skirt around it. Just two nights here at Oceana, right here on the beach. Kind of a cool spot. I'm glad uh, things didn't work out so many other places. It was cool. But I'm uh, in the process of desanding everything, getting all the sand off because uh, I'm packing up. Going to go down to Malibu today, which will officially be the most expensive RV park I've ever stayed at. I think it's like $280 a night or something. I'm just doing one night there just to experience it, but kind of crazy. It should have an awesome view and location. Oh, it looks so close. All right, uh, time to get out of here. Three hours to Malibu or so. Just driving on the beach in the RV, camping out here. Uh, I tried the best I could to keep the sand out, and I actually did a good job keeping the sand out uh, while I was there. But you know, then I got to put all the chairs and the bikes and the and the, uh, the carpets and all that in. I think I'm going to be dealing with sand in the RV for a while now, but worth it. It's a lot of these uh, public parks and stuff where you're allowed to like park on the side of the road or in the park and just set up camp for the weekend. I'm not, there's got to be some regulations on it, but I'm not sure what they are, but kind of cool. You can see them all along the side of the road. Some places, like I've seen a lot of, and I think it's county by county, a lot of counties don't, like up there up north, I saw a lot of signs that said, you know, no overnight camping allowed. Uh, whereas down here, you're seeing a lot more of it. Just people pulled over to the side of the road and clearly they're going to stay in the night because they have their slides out and everything so not too bad today about three hours of driving pretty easy so uh and right on the coast nice and easy almost there about a mile to go to the malibu beach rv park we'll see how it is High up on the cliff, overlooking the ocean really was a spectacular view. see why this is the most expensive RV park I've stayed in. I have never stayed in an RV park that looks like this. Pretty beautiful, pretty amazing. So they do have an age limit here on your RV, so no more than 10 years old. They will make exceptions, I mean, if your RV's in good shape. I mean, they just don't want kind of junky piece of crap coming in. So when I made a reservation, they asked what year it was, and I said, and then they emailed me back saying, send us some pictures of your RV. So I did, and then they approved it. So, because it's a nice, good looking RV. They just don't want kind of junky ones. Because there's some really old ones. There's some old Airstreams and some old classic trailers that have been restored that are down the way. So, you know, they just want them to be in good shape. If you're enjoying the channel, please click that subscribe button as it really helps us out. Good.